One morning, Precious woke up to hear the worst news that she would ever hear. Her mother had died. She wept and wept with her three other sisters. The girls went to live with their Uncle Lucky and Auntie Gift. Mummy had gotten sick and developed a fever. They had taken her to the clinic where the doctor told them that she was not only infected with HIV, but that it had become AIDS. Precious's mummy died a few days later. People become sick when tiny little germs like bacteria and viruses enter their body and begin to multiply and do damage. Thankfully though, most people have a strong immune system army made up of white blood cells which fights diseases and keeps germs under control. Normally people also have special white blood cells in their bodies called CD4 cells which give directions to the rest of the immune system like an army commander. But the human immune deficiency virus or HIV is a very sneaky kind of germ. It hijacks the CD4 cells and not only stops them from working properly, but also forces them to make lots more HIV viruses. Over time, more and more copies of the HIV virus are created in the person's blood and their immune system gets weaker and weaker. Without an army commander, the white blood cells stop fighting sicknesses and germs. Eventually, the body can no longer fight even simple germs, like colds or fevers. This is when we say that HIV has become AIDS, Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. Precious is a cheerful little five-year-old girl, really very ordinary. She likes to watch the clouds float by. She also likes to help Auntie Gift prepare her porridge. And she loves to stick her finger in the sugar bag, like any other little girl in Africa. But Precious has a problem. She has HIV. Sometimes the virus makes Precious feel sick, tired and feverish. She cries a bit and it isn't much fun to play. Then she only wants to listen to stories and snuggle up to Auntie Gift. People are sometimes a little afraid of Precious's HIV. They think that the HIV virus can get out and crawl into their own blood. But that cannot happen. If Precious is bleeding, they must just be careful, just like you, because we must always be careful with blood. But then everyone should be careful with blood, not only Precious. So, when Precious has a cut or when her knee is bleeding, she just sticks a plaster on it. As easy as that. There is no reason to be afraid. There are only a few ways that HIV can be transmitted between people. Through HIV infected blood, during sexual relations, or sometimes from her mother to her baby, during pregnancy, birth, or while breastfeeding. It is really not easy to get HIV. You cannot catch it, but still people sometimes say, don't sit with Precious, or don't share a cup of tea with her, or you better not take the sugar from the same bag as her. In fact, they would rather stay as far away from Precious as possible. This makes Precious very, very sad, almost sadder than when Mummy died. Nobody likes to be alone. Nobody likes to be treated differently. Precious needs to take her medicine twice a day, three kinds of it in two pills. These medicines have a superhero inside, Captain ARV, who attacks the HIV virus. If Precious takes her medicine properly, 
Captain ARV can stop the HIV from doing its nasty work in her body. The HIV is still there, but it loses its power. Precious mice never forget to take her medicines because they keep the HIV virus powerless. And when the virus is quieter, her tummy isn't so, her head isn't so, and her fever is gone too. She feels well enough to play. When you really understand how HIV works, it is not all that scary. Everyone must be careful of blood and learn about wise sexual choices to prevent HIV being spread. And it is a good idea for everyone to get an easy HIV test so that they can know if they are infected. Having HIV is not a death sentence. With treatment and a healthy lifestyle, HIV can be kept under control. Precious has HIV, but not only Precious. There are other children and adults who have it in their blood too. Dark children, fair children, big children, small children and even little tiny babies. These people and Precious are not all that different from anyone else they meet. They have the same needs as other children, including the need for friends, someone to sit with, to play with, and to sneak a little bit of sugar from the bag. It hasn't always been easy, but Precious has a hope and a future. Life is pretty sweet. <laughs>